Here in chapter six, we're going to close the loop, finish the cycle, just so it can be ready to start the cycle back over again. How do we make sure that ends come alive for everybody? It's through communication. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spend a few minutes looking at the, the ways that managers and co-ops and boards can communicate uh, ends accomplishment so that everyone understands. Two key pieces of communication two key goals. One, accountability. Two, alignment. Accountability is first from the manager management to the board so that the board knows that the manager is doing his or her job, so that the board knows that the co-op is accomplishing what they want it to accomplish. Secondly, the co-op itself is accountable to the member owners um, and the ends report can be a way to start uh, demonstrating that. Alignment is a concept that Brett Fairbairn uh, does a good job of explaining in, in his video that you can find in the Seabuild Library. Um, essentially, how do we make sure that the, that the association and the enterprise, uh, the two aspects of our cooperative, are in alignment with each other? And also then how the people, the owners, are aligned with their business. Managers should be using all existing mechanisms to, to get this word out, to communicate with the, the members in the community. All co-ops have some form of these tools available, whether it's printed, uh, available there by the register, or whether it's electronic, online, whether it's web-based, um, whether it's an email blast. Um, think less about the, the specific mechanisms of delivery than about the kind of uh, tool this is. So first off, newsletter articles, annual reports, annual meetings, those are very important face-to-face -face moments, uh, and the chance for regular updates from operations or the management to the board. Uh, those, all these are, are available, they exist, and are easy to use to communicate this wonderful story. Here in a newsletter article at the Merck, you can see embedded in, in the article specific data about what the co-op has been accomplishing. Why would membership matter? When you're becoming an owner of this co-op, what is it you're becoming an owner of? And you can see where they use the information that's included that would be found in an ENDS report, and now they're including it here in a newsletter article. Here's a great example of an annual report from the Middlebury Natural Foods Co-op. The very first bit of data that they show in this annual report uh, is a chart showing how their local sales have changed over time. Uh, and you know that throughout the year, this, this value is something that they're, they're including in lots of other communications to their members. Here in a, in a monthly update to the board, uh, Clem Nyland, manager of Onion River Co-op, uh, periodically includes trend data about key parts of N's accomplishment that he or the co-op are working on that month or things that are more notable that month. Here you see some trends about member sales and membership um, and there's an important story here that now the manager and the board can talk about so they understand together what's happening. Of course, there are more mechanisms than we can cover in one short chapter here. You can think what's available to you in your co-op beyond the ones that I've just mentioned. Um, you have all kinds of outreach activities, you have signs, um, you have people, your, your employees who can talk to customers in the store. There's so many ways to make sure that these values and the co-op's accomplishment are communicated out into the world so that more people understand what difference the co-op is making in your community. In telling your story, it's important to connect both to the past and to the future the idea of trends data. There's not a specific number at any given moment in time that really is gonna tell us much of a story. Um, but connected to the past, connected to our goals for the future, that's a story. Can we make sure that our day-to-day -day decisions are connected to those core values? Can a grocer, a, a stocker on the floor of the, of the store understand that, that this particular product is chosen because it matches the values expressed in the ENDS policies of the co-op. Can individual members understand that their decisions, their actions contribute to the collective good? Those are stories worth telling, stories worth hearing. In 
telling the story, we're also not wanting to get focused on one-way communication. This is a conversation. You want to make sure that as leaders of the co-op, you have something to contribute to the conversation, but you also want to make sure that you're asking for members' input. What's important to you? What's important to your family? What do you think will matter in our community in the future? Those questions asked of members uh, can, can lead to valuable answers, uh, more information for the board and manager to uh, understand and to make sense of and help guide the co-op into the future. Remember, ends are for everybody. We have specifically ends policies and ends reports that, that are tools used to communicate between board and manager, but those policies and those reports used carefully can guide strategic planning within the operations, can guide communications out into the community, and Art and I would like to encourage you all to try this, to see how you can make a difference in your communities by focusing on making good use of the tools you have available to you. So thanks, good luck, we look forward to hearing what you do with this and how you've made your co-op and your community better because of your good work. Thanks.